Hi, Pisces. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is your love reading for November 2018. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Remember, it's a general reading, so take what you can or what can resonate. This reading will be um, focusing on the other person. So if you don't have another person in your life or someone else that you're thinking of or curious or inquiring about, then you can go ahead into my playlist. I have a reading that I've uploaded for singles. Okay, so, or, you know, you could listen to somebody else, <laughs> it's up to you, whatever works for you. So I've already pulled your cards, and I'm going to pull um, what your love message uh, would be coming through for you for November, or what you may need to know regarding love and the other person, or the love message between both of you. Okay. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. Um, yeah. So, seems like you and someone else need to have a little sit down, little powwow, little chat sesh, and uh, actually open up and discuss how you feel about each other. So, um, some of you I know may have already done that, but it, it seems as if that needs to happen again because there may have been a communication mix up. So let's take a look. Now, one thing I noticed when I pulled your cards is the emperor and the empress are here. Okay. Um, so we have some energies flowing through here. Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Aries. Could have earth sign in here somewhere. So Let's just, um, and, and, you know, I, I try not to get too fixed on the signs only because you could be dealing with a completely different sign and they might have one of these signs somewhere in their natal chart that's dominant. So if you're not aware of that, then, you know, but you only know their sun sign, it's not showing up here. It doesn't mean that this is, this reading is not for you inquiring about a particular person in that you have in your mind. And that's who this reading is about. Okay. So the past position is the emperor. Okay, so this person, I feel if they were working toward being in this emperor energy where, you know, they were focused on being the king of their castle or the queen of their castle, they were either working toward that or that is the energy that they displayed. Okay, um, and if they didn't display it, they were working towards trying to display that. Um, the emperor can be a fatherly figure, an authoritative type of a figure. Um, and if it's not that person's energy, it's just the past energy was calling for that to happen. Um, you may have wanted this person to come across to you as being in that emperor situation where they were honest, truthful. The emperor's not, you know, he's not with this flow of immature emotion or anything like that. Sometimes he kind of, um, he doesn't really show much emotion or, or male or female. Um, they're just, they're progressive. This person's um, calm, but Oh, they're always on fire. They're always, uh, you know, this is, I feel like who you were dealing with, they had this energy where in the past you could talk about things to them and they, they did try to direct you or lead you with good advice. Could have been a tarot reader <laughs> that gave you good advice about a particular person. You know, that per this tarot reader could have been an Aries. So um, either way, uh, I feel like the energy that was trying to play out for if you're female, for this person to be a good husband, or they were a good hus husband at one point in the past, it's female, they were a good wife. Um, but they were just um, head of household, they had that kind of energy. Okay, so the present situation, no matter when you're listening to this reading is the ace of cups. So I'm definitely seeing potential and a new beginning here in key emotional development. So I feel like in November, there's going to be some kind of a new start. There could be a potential for pregnancy, 
potential for um, marriage commitment, um, new emotional beginnings between you and this person. Okay. And so this could occur after the Venus retrograde sometime after the middle of November. Okay. So the potential definitely is there to have some beautiful healing. Now, this person's thoughts on the situation, they have the five of wands. So there's some strife here in their, when it comes to this situation. In other words, um, I kind of feel like um, it's not like deep. It's not like deep, but I feel like there's some type of competition. This person, you know, maybe they, they felt like they were competing for your attention or competing to be number one in your life. Or they... Are they just their thoughts about the situation is that they need to always how you know what I was feeling is that you know the five of wands can be a game playing kind of thing and I feel like what they feel about the situation is that there may have been from their perspective some game playing that was going on. I don't necessarily feel like you're, you know, I, I just feel from their perspective about your situation with them that they felt like it was, you know, that there was some game playing going on. And I'm, and I'm not saying that all Pisces are playing games. Um, you know, water signs have that energy where they go by how they feel. And if they're feeling it, they're going with it whether whatever the feeling is, you know, and there's lots of feelings out there. And so um, it's not that Pisces isn't a consistent type, they're definitely consistent, you're definitely consistent with your emotions. You know, you, you do things that come from the heart first, you're not a head first person. And so whoever you're dealing with felt, you know, when they think about your connection, or the situation, they thought that you were messing with their head um, because I don't feel like they come from a place like that. Um, however, how they feel about you, or I'm sorry, what they think of you is the Empress energy here, that you two are a match, definitely. As I was saying, the Emperor and the Empress. There is, you know, you two, are, <laughs> the Emperor and the Empress always go together. So you could be, if you're female, the mother to this person's child. Um, you could be a wife. You know, or if you're a male, of course, the emperor, the emp empress energy. Um, the empress here, these are two pregnancy cards here. So if you're female, there can be, you know, this person may, th if you're not, or you didn't have children with this person, they may be thinking about this now with you even if you weren't connected in matrimony, or even, uh, even if, but I do feel like whatever the connection was, you two were made for each other. The emperor and the empress are made for each other, no doubt. And I do feel like they thought they needed to compete with other people to get you. to be with you because they know that you are a match for them. They know it. That's why they want that, that Ace of Cups here. That's why that's showing up. They want some type of healing between the two of you. They want that connection. Okay. So how they feel about you is the Seven of Pentacles. Um, they, they definitely feel like you're not sure about them for some reason that you're, they feel like you're contemplating the connection that you had with them. Now, why are you contemplating that connection? What happened? Um, is this someone that is always in competitive mode as well, that makes you feel like you're not sure about them? Because maybe 
this person has trouble just opening up emotionally or being, you know, the way you are emotionally. And they feel that and that maybe they can maybe they can they compete to try to prove to you who they are or they they'll want be wanting to try to compete to try to show you that they're not just that emperor energy that they do have feelings and emotions. Um, the seven of discs is, you know, on this deck here, it says failure. Um, so they feel that you feel that they are a failure in some way or that they aren't capable to give you what you want. But I, but I feel like this person knows that you, you, they know that you are. They're, they're highly aware that this connection between the two of you um, is a good connection. But this card is not just failure, it's, con it's contemplation. And they, they feel like you're constantly contemplating whether or not they're a good match for you or not. And that's why this competing card is here, because I do feel like they want to prove to you that they are in November, somehow, some way. What this person wants, they have the Prince of Swords. So <laughs> they want to see you. They want to travel to see you. They want to reach out to you. The Swords can be about communication. So they're, they, they're ready for... Um, to directly communicate with you. Some of you have cut this person off in the past or you've blocked this person. And, um, you know, the Prince of Swords can sometimes be aggressive energy. Um, and they may not be happy about that. <laughs> they definitely want to connect with you. Um, they definitely have something to say to you. And I feel like they want to talk to you. They want to tell you something. And what they want to communicate to you is that they don't want to compete for your love. They don't want to compete for your affection. Now, I know some of you are listening and you're, you're saying or thinking to yourself, well, that's actually the opposite. Some of you, um, I feel like, are feeling like, you know, I was always competing for their attention. They were always ignoring me and things like that. And, and, and so you're right. So both of that energy is definitely playing out here between the two of you. Because if they were coming across as the emperor energy, they weren't sharing their emotions. So there was um, definitely why there's a need for a heart-to-heart -heart communication about your feelings, And I do feel like they want to talk to you. So you may hear from them after the mid-November. Mid you may hear there may be communication coming from them about this. What you need to know about this person, they have the chariot card here. They're always on the move. This person travels a lot for work. Or they're always in the car. They do business out of their car. Um, some of them work in transportation. Some of them are pilots, race car drivers, you know, male or female. We're not gender specific when it comes to careers anymore. Um, this person might even drive a bus. This person might be, they have, a, they have horses and feeling horses. <laughs> um, And this is their life. This, this is what they like to do. This is how they live their life. This is what brings them um, happiness in their life, to constantly be on the move. This person knows where they're going, especially if they have this emperor energy. They, they know what they want out of life when it comes to actions. They know how to get where they want to go. They're a leader. They have determination and they're ambitious. They have drive. They're focused. They have self-control. You know, they have that brave warrior kind of thing about them.
but uh, you know they're always in um with the black and the white here at the bottom you know that yin and yang duality they they have that balance about them with what they what they where they are they do have the balance um and here, even with the Prince of Swords, you also need to know that, you know, what you need to know about them is they, uh, want, they they're they probably traveling to come see you, as I was seeing in the Prince of Swords here. Now, your advice here is the Knight of Discs. So your advice is not to chase after this person. Let them come to you to see what they have to offer, to be patient. You know, some of you could also be dealing with um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, but to be patient, to not rush into anything with them just yet, I think that they're coming after you. And if this is someone that uh, you don't want coming after you, um, you just need to have this message for some reason. The outcome here, I'm seeing balance, stability with this connection, this queen of uh, pentacles here. So, of course, if you're male, you could be dealing with um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And if you're female, you could as well. But this is more of divine feminine energy. This person, I feel, is going to be actually stability and balance that will be the outcome towards the end sometime, the end of November where things will actually get set straight. There, there's abundance here. And there's truth, grounded energy. You know, because I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're always on the move, and you want them to be a bit more grounded um, because that helps ground you. And I do see that's going to be coming for you guys. that either this person is going to get themselves grounded, which will ground this relationship and take it back down to earth where it needs to be. Honest communication about feelings. And I, I feel that's more for the person that you're dealing with will be coming in to, to really be honest with you about how they feel about this connection or how they felt about it in the past. Even if you're still with them, I feel like things are starting to change. There's definitely an energy of someone coming towards you at the after the after mid November. So again, your advice is just to stay where you are. You know, the Knight of Discs it kind of has his shield up a little bit, so you may need to make sure that you know you're able to deflect anything that you don't want. But the Knight of Pentacles is not a charging knight. He just stands guard. He stands ready. Because, again, there's a feeling of contemplation and doubt here and not being sure about this person. And I feel like they want to come in and prove something to you. All right, Pisces. So that's going to be your reading. If you want to get a personal reading, click on the link below in the box. And I will see you guys in December. All right. Take care. Bye.